What is going on guys and welcome to the channel. My name is Philly Beats you and in this video I'm going to tell you guys how to change max raid spawns in Pokemon Sword and Shield. So you want to spawn a G-Max Pokemon in its specific den. Well, it's a really simple trick that you got to do. So what you're going to do is you're going to head over to a Pokemon den and make sure to pick up Wishing Stones from the NPCs. And if you guys want to know how to farm Wishing Stones late game with a lot of Watts, check out this video over here. Okay, so with all the Watts, you're going to buy Wishing Stones, which are 3,000 Watts each. When you approach the specific den, that has the G-Max Pokemon in it, you want to save before you start throwing your Wishing Stones into it. So save. Make sure you're not riding on your bike. Then what you're going to do is it's going to say the den is empty. Do you want to throw a Wishing Stone in there? So you go ahead, throw your Wishing Stone. And that's going to say, would you like to save before this happens? As soon as you hit yes to that button, you're going to wait like a point three seconds and you're going to hit the home button quickly. Also, set your tech speed to slow to make this a lot simpler because what you want to do essentially is not let the game save even though it says it's saving and back out before you see this red light. So you kind of see a red light and you back out. You don't want it to save, right? And you close out, you come back in and you, you hope it's a purple light. But you, if you keep getting red lights, you keep doing the same thing. In this example, we're trying to spawn G-Max Kingler in this spot. So we're going to do this a few more times. And then finally, log right back in, and then we're going to find the purple light. Now, this purple light in this specific area could be a variety of different Pokemon. But the thing is, with this trick, you have to check every purple spawn, which means if it's not the G-Max Pokemon, ah, you got to try again. But you must battle the purple spawns to get rid of them, obviously, because your game saved into it. So that's what you're going to do. This time we do it again. We get a purple spawn and we are lucky and it just happens to be our boy g max kingler so what we do is we go into a raid battle with it we go take it down we catch it and then that's it just as a summary step one save before the den step two click on it and right when it says save hit yes as you throw a wishing piece in the den if it's red back out if it's purple you can still back out come back in the game but don't close the software and that's basically essentially what you do. Step four, you go and you click on the purple den and you fight whatever's in it. Save again, reset, do it all over again. That is all. That is the trick on how to change max raid spawns in order to get the Pokemon that you want. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, let me know. And also, we're doing this in the Discord server. So that's also linked down in the description below. So hop on into the Discord. Join the boys, the Beats boys, as we raid nonstop. And we change max raid spawns to get the specific Pokemon we want. It's a lot of fun. Uh, and the struggle to get G-Max Pokemon appearing is real. So go ahead. Check out the Discord in the description below. My name is Philly Beats You. Thanks for watching this video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.